All right, 6.03 this morning, Taylor's favorite view. I'm just a golf watching course. this while you talk. Kansas City has some extra incentive to watch some golf this weekend. You can watch that, by the way, right here on KSHB yep. 41. The American Century Championship going on this weekend in Lake Tahoe. Celebrity golf tournament. What are you doing here? It's an upper level, so I'm, oh, a, I'm a lower okay, yeah. level. Uh, tons of stars, including Patrick Mahomes, Travis Kelsey. Yeah, I'm a couple of chapters under Travis <laughs> and Patrick. But the tournament also raises money for organizations all around the country. This year, the primary beneficiary is the Stowers Institute for Medical Research, which is right here in KC. Not only should you know it's here, but the scientists who work inside hope that you'll take some pride in that fact too. Inside this beautiful building, tucked away just off of Troost Avenue, world-class scientific research is happening every day. You really have to be a curious uh, person to, to do this. Um, even though there's a saying that curiosity kills the cat, I think curiosity makes the scientists. Curious perfectly describes all the scientists here, but so do words like excited, even grateful. It really is a privilege to to be able to come every morning and, and, and wonder, I wonder what they discovered today, you know? And uh, I wonder what observation they made that doesn't make any sense, but that's probably where the kernel of truth may be. Dr. Sanchez Alvarado is the executive director of the Institute, but also has projects of his own, including one housed in this room full of snails. They have eyes that are very similar to our eyes, but you cut those eyes off, they grow back. So we want to understand how animals can actually regenerate a cornea, a lens, a retina, an optic neuron. And then the genes that they're using to do that are almost indistinguishable from the genes that all of us use when our eyes were being made. It's one of dozens of challenges the scientists here are tackling, none of them easy to describe when they meet new people. I kind of actually, often I let them like ask questions to kind of drive the conversation, because sometimes that will be enough and then they don't want any more. Dr. Jennifer Gurton's been here for 20 years. Right now her team, using mice, believe it or not, is working to learn more about how women's reproductive systems age. We have cutting edge technology for studying um, ovarian tissue and for understanding really at a cell and molecular level what that aging process looks like. Or Dr. Tatiana Piotrowski, her team is studying. These are the hair cells in one of these sensory organs that the fish has. Now they're called hair cells because they look like this and they're present in all kinds of animals, including humans. Specifically for us, they're in our ears. When they die in other species, they grow back. Ours don't, leading to hearing loss. But could that change? We believe that, that human hair cells have the capacity to regenerate if we identify where the block is that currently prevents these cells from regenerating. Post-pandemic, Sanchez Alvarado says that people are paying more attention to science and what it means for humanity. He compared the work being done here to jumping headfirst into an abyss, ready to find an answer that could change the world. The 21st century, I think, is the century where we're really going to understand biology like we've never understood it before. It happened for physics in the 20th century. It happened for chemistry in the 19th century. It has yet to happen for biology. I think this is the century where we're going to do it. So cool in there. So cool. The American Century Championship begins today in Lake Tahoe. You can watch coverage on Golf Channel today, but tomorrow and Sunday you can watch it right here on KSHB 41 starting at 1.30 on both of those days. Fascinating. I could have spent the, the entire day over there. there. I mean, I said wow like 28 times. Learned a lot. Thing. Really, really interesting and cool that it's being right here in Kansas City. And it's about a half mile from where we sit right now. Yes, absolutely. Yeah.